Hello and welcome to another mathematics video in which we seek to analyse and solve ordinary differential equations as well as other problems in the area of mathematics. So today I thought we'd have a go at solving this non-linear differential equation using Ronskians. Now Ronsky, uh, the Ronskian method cannot often be used in solving uh, non-linear differential equations, but there are some that do appear to be able to be solved using the Ronskian method. So that's what we're going to do in this video. And um, so we'll make a start. OK, so. Let me just um, there we are, I've got my pointer. So what we're going to do with equation one is rewrite it as d squared y by dx squared plus, and then I'm going to do a nice big bracket. Um, we'll have a dy by dx term in there. The one over x term there and dy by dx on the outside of that bracket. So what, I, what in actual fact I've done there is to factorize out or to factor out the dy by dx from both of these terms, leaving dy by dx minus one over x inside the brackets with the dy, another dy by dx on the outside of that bracket. So we'll call that equation two. Now, um, let me just scroll down. So we'll just leave that showing there. Uh, maybe I need to just go up a little bit. There we are. Right, so now there's two parts to this Ronsky method um, in, in a sense, and that is that um, If we write down that the Ronskian is equal to um, some constant, which we call W sub zero, times E to the minus uh, the integral of P dx, right? So we'll just call that equation three. Right, so W is a Ronskian, and that's equal to W sub zero e to the minus the integral of P dx. Well, what is P? Well, um, if I just um, write out a gen the general form of um, a second order differential equation, then if we've got d squared y by dx squared there plus uh, a p of x term there times dy by dx plus q of x uh, times y equals zero then you can see that the p to the x term is a coefficient of the dy by dx. And of course, q of x term is the coefficient of y. Now, um, this p of x term and q of x term, they can be constants. But when they are functions of x, in, this, in the case of this particular type of equation, then this is where things get more complicated and where in this particular case the Ronskian comes in and has to be used. Um, uh, there may be other methods as well that will solve um, equations like this where the coefficients are not constants but variables um, and I think we've talked about some of these equations in previous videos and we've done examples of those. Uh, but of course, in this particular case, we're going to use a Ronskian. So 
what we're going to do is we're going to find out what this term is and substitute it in for p there. Okay, so if we just um, write down, and I'm going to write it down again uh, underneath this equation. Uh, so we've got d, I should really use black I think for this and be consistent so we've got d squared y by dx squared plus in brackets dy by dx minus 1 over x dy by dx um, and it's actually plus 0 times y equals 0 so we'll just put that zero in brackets. So you can see the Q is zero there. But in this case, Q doesn't come into it, so it doesn't matter anyway. So straight away, you might be able to see that um, the bit ringed in purple here, the red P of X ringed in purple, is exactly the same as this term here, the dy by dx minus 1 over x. Um, and the reason why we can make that distinction is because we know that this is the coefficient of the dy by dx term, whereas this is also the coefficient of this dy by dx term. So if I just uh, get rid of all my markings, right, okay. Uh, we can therefore proceed with finding the Ronskian. So the Ronskian is W0. I know I've already written it above, but I don't want to scroll up. It's just easier to um, write it out again. So the Ronskian W is equal to W0E to the minus the integral of P uh dx it should really be p of x dx but anyway now that's equal to w zero times e to the power minus of uh the integral of in fact actually i've um i should have put the integral side in first shouldn't i so we've got uh, an integral sign there, and then in brackets, we've got dy by dx minus 1 over x dx. Well, how the hell do we, um, do we integrate that? Because um, normally you don't get um, a dy by dx term in there, you know, so... How, how how does that help us? Well, um, if you think about it, all we have to do is multiply everything out by that dx term so that we've got w equals w sub 0 e to the minus the integral of, well, if you multiply dy by dx by dx, you just get dy. Okay. So the, the dx there cancels with that dx. And then, of course, we've got, um, I'm going to write a second integral up here. It's just a bit easier that way. So we've got plus the integral of 1 over x dx. I could have just, I could have actually written all this as the integral, minus the integral of dy uh, plus 1 over x dx like that so it's exactly the same thing so that is exactly the same as that uh, but anyway um, I just think it's a bit easier to write it like that and then you can see the separate integrals there instead of one whole integral uh, where you've got a dy and a dx which could be confusing so this simply integrates to W zero W sub zero e to the minus y uh, plus log of x. So W is equal to W sub zero e 
to the minus y times e to the log of x. And that's equal to um, uh, well, e to the log x is just x, so we get w0 x e to the minus y. So the Ronskian is equal to w sub 0 x e to the minus y. Right? And uh, we'll put a nice big red box around that. Um, um, so the next step, and perhaps I should have said this at the beginning, but the next part requires a solution to our original equation. Uh, well, it was really equation one, wasn't it? So there we've got equation one. So we need to select, we need to find a solution which when substituted back into this equation equates it to zero. Well, doesn't this set us back a bit because we haven't got a solution? Well, we're going to try for a solution. We're going to we're going to trial a solution. We're going to choose a solution out of thin air and see if it works. And the most obvious thing to do is to say let y equal some constant c. So let's see if that works. So um, I'm not sure if I can cut and paste um, um, the original differential equation. But anyway, we'll say uh, we now need at least one solution to equation one uh, to proceed further. Try y equals c. So if y equals c, then y prime is zero and y double prime is zero. So d squared y by dx squared, I'm going to stick to the modified version, times dy by dx minus 1 over x times dy by dx is equal to, uh, well, we know that dy, uh, d, d squared y by dx squared, which is this term here, is 0. So this term becomes 0, right? That becomes 0. So if, to save space, we'll just um, take that off. So uh, let's write this in red. So zero, zero for this term. And then plus, in brackets, well, dy by dx is zero again, minus one over x. Oh, dear. Uh, but anyway, we'll proceed on. And then, of course, we've got this dy by dx term, which is zero. So we multiply by zero. And what do we get? We get zero. Right? So why? Uh, let's write this in black again. So y equals c is a solution. So hence, uh, what we can do now is write the Ronskian or calculate the Ronskian in a different form. So 
right I'll just call it W write the Ronskian in a different form it's like a, it's like a matrix form so W is equal to the following uh, the Ronskian for a second order differential equation, uh, the Ronskian has four components. It has solution one here, y1, solution two here, y2, and then the derivatives of each of those uh, with the y1 prime term here, y1 prime. So that's the dy, dy by dx term for y1. And then we've got y2 prime there. And so if we substitute in the, our known values for the Ronskian, uh, well, we know that y1 is our constant c. And we know that its derivative is 0. But we don't know what y2 is, and we don't know what y2 prime is. But what we do know is that um, I can't really fit it on there, but that Ronskian is equal to W sub zero. Um, and I, oh yeah, here we are, times X times E to the minus Y. So um, this bit is equal to this bit. All because we were able to find um, at least one solution, C, even though it was a constant. So what do we do now? Well, uh, we, let me just, um, I'll go to red. What we do now is we multiply the C by uh, the Y2 prime term and the zero, let me just, um, write that like that the zero so multiply c by y2 prime and zero by y2 prime so what we get is i have so I haven't said that very um i haven't said that correctly it's c times y2 prime minus zero times y2 so um i'll write this in purple for you so um, we've got C2, Y2 prime. E I guess I should show you exactly what I'm doing. C2, Y2 prime minus 0 times Y2 equals W0, X, E to the minus Y. Right? So... Um, that can be simplified to give C2 dy2 by dx equal to w0 x e to the minus y. Um, and actually that in this case would be y2, but it doesn't really matter. It's, it's the same y. Um, so... Um, Right, okay, so we can solve this equation by separating the variables. So um, I'm going to divide both sides by C2. Um, how where did that C2 come from? Let's have a look. Uh, ah. Uh, yeah, I've called it C2 for some strange reason. Uh, we could have called it C2. Uh, but I'm just going to get rid of the uh, the 2 for now. The sub 2. Uh, let's just get rid of that. Okay. Divide both sides by C. Um, uh, and y I think it is, e to the y, and 
e to the minus y2, right? So, and then we want to multiply. We'll, call, we'll, we'll write multiply as x ply. That means multiply. So divide both sides by c and e to the power minus y2 and multiply both sides by dx. So what we get is um, dy2 and then we have an e to the minus y2 there and that's equal to w0 over c times x dx and of course we put our integral signs in. So uh, now this this is in a form where we we can easily uh, where we can easily integrate it. But first of all, let's just simplify this term on the left hand side so that we get the integral of e to the power y two dy two equal to the integral. I'll bring the constant outside. So w sub zero over c times the integral of x dx. And to save space, I'm going to uh, write on the right hand side of the page. So this should be quite easy to integrate. That is just e to the power y2. And that's equal to, uh, well, we'll have w0 over c times a bracket and this is what we're going to write the it, the actual integral inside this this bracket so the integral of x is x squared over 2 plus um we'll call this c2 because that's our second constant a constant of integration right so um now um we can simplify all of this uh and what we get is well if we take logs so taking logs uh, it's actually logarithms logarithms of both sides so taking logarithm of both sides we get um so we get y2 um, equal to the log of, well, we could multiply um, everything out in this bracket. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll, I think we'll keep that. I think we'll keep that as it is here inside the bracket. So we get uh, W0 over, we're going to take the two out. So factorize it that way, times X squared plus two C two, right? So I've written it in that form. Um, because um, this equate this this the uh, the ordinary differential equation that we're just solving now came out of some literature, but they used a different method to solve it. But I know that they got this particular solution, particularly with the two c in there, the two c sub two. Uh, whereas when I used a different method, I only got one c sub 2 and um, actually I get the exactly the same formula um, using this Ronsky method that they did using a different method in the literature so um, this is obviously certainly paying off isn't it so we've now got our second linearly independent solution um, so I'll write that in red this Actually, I'm not sure if it is linearly independent, but it's, it's a second solution anyway. This 
is our second solution. The first being y1 equals c. Therefore, or we'll put thus because it's shorter, uh, the general solution is um, let me see uh, I better write this in black is y equal to y1 plus y2 which is equal to c plus the logarithm of in brackets w0 over 2c times x squared plus 2c2 and that is the general solution for that ordinary differential equation so I hope the that was useful and helpful to you and um, I'll leave it at that for now until the next video so um, I'll say goodbye and see you soon okay take care for now bye